time in his career and going against doubles and knowing when to go early. Yep, yep. Yeah, no, he was, he would, well, I mean, he was fantastic tonight. Come on, I mean, to go 15 out of 19 against anybody um, is spectacular. And, and then it, one of the things that jumped out to me was five assists and two turnovers. You know, the one of all the great things he's been doing this year, he's, he has been turning it over a little bit too much. But he led the break tonight, made great decisions on there, um, had some nice passes out of the high post when they went zone. And uh, threw out a couple times for some nice threes, and, and uh, yeah, I mean he he had a he had a heck of a game. But I mean we we were really really good on offense, uh, not so good on defense. But a lot of that has to do, as I said, going into this game, man. Pepperdine's got some really really talented guys, and not only are they talented, but they can really really shoot the ball. So if you try to bring any help or coverages, I mean they can really really make you pay. And and uh, you know fortunately we had that nice stretch, at the end of the first half. Uh, where, where we were able to string together multiple stops, and I thought that was the difference in the game. What does it take from a conditioning standpoint for Drew to be doing this night after night with all, all the attention and the usage he gets now? And is, it, is his conditioning that much better than last year, you think? Or? No, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that. I, I would say, I mean, what it really takes is incredible mental toughness, man, to just night in and night out deliver like this. I mean, it's just off the charts, mental toughness. And obviously, you have to be a great player to be able to, because he's been delivering time and time and time again. So uh, I would say more so that maybe. I don't think I'm going to sit here and wax on about his conditioning. Coach, <laughs> he's got some areas he can improve on there. <laughs> Coach, when you talk about like high-level players like Drew that's a star, you don't often hear how much they've improved. From your standpoint, how much have you seen Drew improve this season? Again, I, I would just say, not to be redundant, but he's delivering time and time and time again, you know. I mean, over and over. I mean, th that's what I've seen. I mean, and he was terrific last year. I mean, he was up for college player of the year. So, I, I, And I would say his defense has been better, especially this last probably three weeks. So he's made, he's made some steps there, some strides. He's still got room for improvement there. So, but. What did you think of Julian today? I, I thought Jul he uh, really responded well with just kind of the ups and downs of the games and didn't get caught up in that, whether it was a, a bad miss or a missed defensive assignment. He still stayed positive on the, on the offensive end, and he hit some big shots uh, during that run uh, when we were able to stretch that thing out. And, uh, um, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's great to have that that ability to, to shoot from deep and shoot so quickly from deep and so effortlessly. And I think the guys are doing a better job of pitching it ahead and finding him. Uh, the efficiency, uh, how important was that, the offensive efficiency, to, get, to hold Pepperdine to not let them get you know run outs and fast break points and, and with those talented guards they had? I mean, it was huge. I mean, it, for a while there, that's all it was, was both teams scoring on each other, you know? And then we finally had a stretch where we got some stops. But... Um, there was a lot of stretches where we were just exchanging baskets. And, and uh, you know, I'd, I'd definitely say probably these last four games, our offense has definitely been carrying us. And all the fast break points, even after they scored a couple of times, was there something you saw or was that just the guys No, uh, I mean, that's what we've always tried to do here. And I think this group has been a little bit slower to, to uh, catch on to it or whatever. And, and I mean, you think about all our teams, we've been great at that. And, uh, you know, I think lately we've spent some time on it, and I think we're doing a better job of pitching ahead and, and even getting it out of the net and throwing it ahead if we can. After the last game, you had said that you guys needed to play well every game in the league or someone was going to get you. Um, no question. And, and uh, you know, this one today, or at least this week, did you see that sense of urgency from the guys that switched that says, hey, it's league play now? And uh, I mean, not really. <laughs> I mean, I, I thought we played offensively tonight with it, so. Um, yeah, this is a real pretty uh, stoic and mellow crew, so it's hard to, um, yeah. They don't often show stuff like that. <laughs> so, Coach, I know you got but they're winning, and that, that's it's a bottom line. I mean, this is a really, really good win for us, and, uh, you know, a, a lot of times it falls on deaf ears. This is going to be hard every night, especially for this team in this particular league, 
It's going to be very hard for us every night. It is. Okay, I've been in this thing 25 years. It's going to be hard. <laughs> and so celebrate the wins. We got one, and now we got a tough road trip uh, coming up. Coach, I know you got some history with uh, Coach Romar. What were you saying there at the end of the game? And, uh, I mean, what's your respect for him? Oh, I got immense respect for him. I mean, he's, a, he's an unbelievable man and the way he lives his life. And, and I, I think he's as well loved as anybody in this profession. I mean, just from every coach on every program and, and the guys on each program, any of them that he recruits. I mean, he really does a great job uh, with that. And so we're just comparing notes of our team and his team and stuff like that. What was the, uh, the game plan on Lewis? He scored 20 but didn't really get going until late. I know he had foul trouble in the first half. But yeah, I mean, he had foul trouble in the first half or else yeah. he – I mean, it's interesting. I looked at halftime and he was the only guy on their team with, with a positive plus minus. And I was like, uh-oh. So, uh, I mean, he's just a – he's really made himself into a phenomenal scorer. I mean, he's scoring at all three levels now. He's – you even relax a little bit. We relaxed. Just like that, he hit, hit a three on us, a deep three. Um, hit mid ranges. He posted us up. And they do a great job of different actions to find him in different spots. So, really, really good player. I mean, obviously, they have a lot of talented offensive guys, but especially going to San Fran and Santa Clara next week, a couple of teams that can function. What are you hoping to get sealed up defensively? Everything. I mean, everything. We just yeah. We gotta guard the ball better, we gotta guard actions better, we've gotta you know everything. <laughs> There's probably not one thing that I feel great about after tonight. I don't know how I'll, you watch the game, would you? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then again, I mean you watch what San Francisco just did to Arizona State over Christmas there. I mean, that was pretty impressive. And then Santa Clara's done I mean, they. I know Boise was missing their best guy, but to put beat Boise by 20, and uh, and uh, they've done a nice job stringing together wins too. Are they a little different this year? Obviously, without um, Bouye, Salski, new coach. Like the, yeah, kind of no, stuff. same, same, same. Kind of smart and spread you out. Can really shoot threes. Really three dependent. But you know, they add the kid from WSU is a is a. Real, I mean, experience is heck. I mean, he's got to be in his sixth year now or something. And a pick and pop, you know, big man and Meeks. So then that changes your coverages. They got also have a big that can score in the post. Um, yeah, so they're a handful. Thanks so much. To be honest, I've been facing doubles, I would say, like most of my basketball career. Um, probably since like seventh, eighth grade. So like it's kind of just one of those things I feel comfortable for the most part going against them and if you're going to put two people on me that that match just means someone like him is going to be wide open and we love getting this man wide open catch and shoot threes they're, they're automatic and raw and all them so like it's a, it's a great part of our offense when teams want to do that just because it creates so much for other people coach talked about the kind of the mental fortitude it takes to deliver night in and night out do you, do you think your mental strength has improved over the last year um, is it more that than physically you think um, yeah, I definitely think I've uh, grown in that regard. I think sometimes, like, early in my career, I'd be kind of, eh, you know, a little bit. But I think just got that extra gear now, I would say, where, like, I know, like, in order for us to win and, and be the best that we can be, I have to do certain things night in and night out, and that happens to be one of them. So just continuing to build on that and trying to just keep staying locked in every time is, uh, is definitely something I've been working on. Julian, you still battling the illness? I saw you run off the court a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> nah, first, first time I ran out, it was just because I had caught that elbow. Okay. Lip was bleeding. Retainer was super bloody, so I had to go clean that out. Second time was just a bathroom bag. Yeah, nothing too crazy. I'm all good now. 100% healthy. How did it feel to get some, some shots fall and uh, 22 points? I think your second 20 point game of the year. Um, just get back into the rhythm. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was huge. Obviously, you know, there was a couple games the, uh, over the past few that I wasn't too happy with my uh, personal performance. And, you know, just, just kind of leaning on these guys to, you know, pick me up. And, you know, the, the conference provides a new season, kind of. You know, everybody starts 0-0. Zero and zero. So, I mean, just coming to the mentality that, you know, it's a new season. And, um, you know, I can come out here and make an impact. So, I mean, it was, it was good for my confidence to come out here and 
have a good performance tonight. Do you know uh, Maxwell Lewis at all from back home? And yeah, we used to we used to work out together in middle school. Uh, we we had the same trainer back then, so we used to work out all the time. So yeah, me and him are good friends. What was that matchup like? He uh, he was kind of held to a, only a few only played a few minutes in the first half of foul mm -hmm. trouble, but kind of went off there in the second half. What's it kind of like going back and forth with him and oh. how potent can he be for him? Uh, I mean, it's, it's always fun. You know, those are the matchups that you live for, you know, play against other high-level guys, you know, especially being able to play against, you know, another high-level guy from my hometown. So, I mean, that was super fun. I mean, he, he's a really talented scorer. He can, he can score in all uh, facets of the game. So, you know, just to kind of have a little back and forth and, you know, both put up uh, pretty good performances tonight. I mean, you know, it's, it's fun, and, and that's what we live for. Now that conference play has started, have you felt kind of the, the urgency from, from the staff? You now it's league plays here. And that's the next goal for you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, Coach Few just emphasizes just, you know, how it's a new season, everyone's 0-0, zero and, zero, and how the WTC continues to, you know, have more talent and more, you know, transfers come in, and, and there's a lot of teams that you can't, can't you know, back down and play lackadaisical like, like you may have in the past. So, you know, every night's going to be a battle. You know, everybody's coming to try to, you know, take us off the uh, top of the pedestal, and we got a target on our back. So every, every night's, every night's going to be you know, a new challenge. So, I mean, we're excited for that, and, you know, it's big for the conference, too. You guys have talked about maybe the defense is the thing that can carry you or hold you back. Tonight it was a little, a little loose there in the first half, kind of like AAU almost at times. So, <laughs> what do you guys make defensively, and, and how, how much do you got to get that battle in for this road trip coming? I mean, they are a good offensive team, and, um, <clears throat> You know, it's your defense can uh, your defense can slack a little bit when you put up that many points. Obviously, we don't want to live by that because we're not gonna we're not gonna shoot like that every night. It's just not possible. So, uh, yeah, we got a beast of a week coming up. We're really gonna have to lock in and um, hone in on our defense. But uh, like kind of like Julian said, man, it's it's a good reset. You know, everyone saw the ball go through the net, so that's huge for us going into league play. And um, all we gotta do is fix our defense, and that's an easy fix. I feel like we've shown that we can defend and. Um, we're, we're more than up for the challenge. Drew, what are your thoughts on the San Francisco team? Um, obviously, solid last year, different with the roster this year, but still a pretty solid team here for the season. Yeah, they, uh, I mean, they beat the brakes off Arizona State. I saw it, I didn't watch the game, but I, I saw the score, obviously, and um, they got a lot of talent. Uh, Shabazz is back. He's a hell of a player. I mean, he's caused us problems his whole career, at least how long I've been here. Um, and you know they're going to play good. Um, and also they got a coach from SMU. That's my boy, Coach Duncan. So it'll be fun to uh, go against him. Any more for players? Yeah, is it, you, you retired the shoes. Is, is the headband next, or is that just too personal? To <laughs> How old is that thing? Um, that headband I was wearing, this the, the one I've been wearing the past couple games has been one that I got freshman year of here. The one, the one that I try not to wear is the really stretched out one that like falls off my head a lot because it's so like stretched out. But yeah, man, you can't you can't put a, a value on sweat equity. It's something I live by, and like I'm I'm a, <laughs> I'm gonna stick with it till it can't go anymore. And like I mean, I got a lot of buckets in that headband, and uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it.